Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating how to knit this gorgeous cardigan. For this one I used 100% uh, cotton yarn. And uh, this is knit from top down. So we're going to be casting on a total of 47 stitches. And then we're going to be increasing here. And uh, this is the back of the cardigan. And for this uh, demonstration, I will be using this uh, yarn. It is 75% acrylic and 25% uh, wool. It's worsted yarn. And it's one of the patterns Shetland Chunky, it says, from uh, Susan Bates. Made in Canada. Okay. And uh, for this particular yarn, I'll be using a six mil millimeter knitting needles. US 10. So um, which yarn you're going to be working with, look at the label and it will tell you what kind of needle you need. Okay, so I have a total of uh, four of these yarn, four balls of this yarn. So 5200 gram would be plenty enough to knit this cardigan. So let's get started. I forgot to mention that this cardigan that I have uh, knit, it's for uh, nine months and over. So uh, the 47 stitch is, uh, uh, stitches that we're going to be casting on, it depends on your yarn. If it's chunky, it would be bigger. If it's uh, thinner yarn, it would be smaller. So uh, I work with measurements, as I said on my previous uh, tutorials. So uh, if you want something, let's say, bigger than or smaller than just, just increase the stitches or decrease, either way. But uh, if you're going to increase, I would increase two stitches at a time. So instead of knitting five purl, three knit, you can do seven purl knit and then so we're going to do for this particular one we're going to do five purl three knit yarn over knit one yarn over purl one for the sleeve area and for the increase we're going to do yarn over knit one yarn over and for the back we're going to after doing the yarn over we're going to do three knit seven purl three knit yarn over knit one yarn over one purl for the sleeve three knit and for the back again yarn over knit one yarn over three knit and five purl okay so let's get started I just wanted to weigh this before I start the cardigan <laughs> just didn't feel comfortable <laughs> just want to see exactly how much yarn I used on this cotton yarn so I'm just gonna weigh it Okay, so 100 and 116, so just over, I would say, 4 ounces, yeah, so 116 gram, and in ounces, let's check the ounces, I think it's 4. Yeah, about four ounces of yarn you need to knit this cardigan. Okay, just wanted to point that out. So I grab my, uh, I usually write my notes. Here's my notes. Cast on 47 stitches. And then 
I have my coffee stain cup here. <laughs> and then this is how I do my... So if you want a screenshot, you're welcome to do that. Just the, This is my notes. Everyone has their own notes. I wrote it so fast. I think I wrote down cutting <laughs> uh, for this particular one. So cast on total of 47 stitches. And then uh, let's get started. So I went ahead and I cast on total of 47 stitches. Okay, there he, I would like to show you. This is the front of the work. This is the right side of the work. Where you get it, where you understand is, when you cast on the long tail is when it's on your left side of your working. So this is the front. So this is the back. What, I, what we're going to do is we're going to just do purl stitches on both sides for about three ridges. So three ridges is about nine rows approximately. So continue crochet, uh, continue knitting. I do apologize because I do knit and crochet and I'm trying, trying to do a demonstration every week to do one knit crochet, one, knit, uh, one uh, demonstration knitting, and one demonstration uh, videos of uh, crochet. So continue knitting both sides purl wise to create this ridge that we're going to be making. So do a total of three ridges and then we're going to start the pattern. So I'll meet you at the end when you do the three ridges. I have knitted a total of uh, three ridges. One, two, three. So what we're going to do is we're going to be knitting the pattern, the stitch. So we're going to knit five purl stitch to start. Before doing that, I'm going to put a I'm going to put a buttonhole. For girls, I usually put the buttonhole on the right side. For boys, I put it on the left side. So this time I'm going to put the buttonhole here. Okay. Okay, so I'll be knitting. I'm gonna I'm going to knit the first stitch which I usually don't do, but but this is a purl stitch. This is a purl two sides. I'm going to give that nice edge here, so I'm going to be purling the first two. And to create a buttonhole, this is how I do it. Just get it closer. So I go yarn over and I knit the two. And I knit another one. So a total of five. And I'm going to be knitting three stitches. So one, two, three. So this is going to be the front. The front of the sweater, the cardigan. So this is what this part we're going we're knitting. This is this part. So we're going to do three knit stitches and then we're going to do yarn over, knit one yarn over and then uh, knit another three stitches. <clears throat> so after knitting the three stitches we're going to do yarn over. You can put a stitch marker here but I'm not going to put one because I've been knitting so many of these. Okay, so this is the front of the body. This is this is where we did the separation. So we did yarn over, knit one yarn over, and we knitted three stitches. So this is going to be the sleeve part that we're going to be knitting. Okay. So let's check the sweater again. So we're knitting this part this part of the sweater. So we did a yarn over, knit one yarn over, 
knit three and what we're going to do is we're going to be knitting a total of one two three I'm sorry, we're going to just knit the one stitch. We're just going to do the purl one stitch and then knit three stitches. And then we're going to do a yarn over and then we will be done with this uh, sleeve area. And we're going to go to the back of the sweater. So yarn over and then knit three again. Okay. So. knit three purl wise knit three stitches again so this is a sleeve yarn over if you want to put a marker here here you can put the marker here yarn over knit one yarn over knit three so we're done the the sleeve now we're going to be knitting the back of the cardigan okay so we did yarn over knit one yarn over and knit three so we're on the back of the uh, back of the sweater so we're going to do total of eight uh, eight pearls so we're going to be knitting this part of the cardigan and after eight, we're going to be doing three knits, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three. So remember, I showed at the beginning of my um, hair that you can do a screenshot if you want. So we did five purl, three knit, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and then three. So that's what I mean by these eights and like the three per the five pearl we did and then the three knit so that's a total of eight when you add them up and then we do the we do the eight this is supposed to be eight two uh, yeah um, no I'm sorry seven seven so we did yarn over <laughs> knit one sorry yeah we did three knit yarn over knit one yarn over knit three and we're going to do seven pearls so we're at the back of the of the card again so we're going to do seven one two three five six seven and now we're doing the three knit then we're doing yarn over yarn over knit one yarn over knit three now we're doing the sleeve we're done with the back Oh, just one moment. Yeah, three. And we're going to do one purl. We're doing the sleeve. So one, two, three. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. One, two. Just to be cautious, three, we did three. Just go back and count. And yeah, I did six here. <laughs> That's why there's the extra stitch. Yeah, <laughs> I do make mistakes too. This is uh, the beginning of the, so we're separating the body parts. So, uh, if you make one little tiny mistake, well, if you skip one stitch, you have to unravel and start and find a mistake and go back. 
Okay, so instead of doing, C, so I did three knit, I'm supposed to be doing seven purls. So I did two, four, six. Yeah, I missed one here. So I'm just going to go back. And my dog is barking. Yeah, we have a German Shepherd Cross Malamute. She uh, was born in 2005. She's 11. She's going to be 12 in November. But she's very active. Yeah, here we are. So do a purl. And then do three knits. One, two, three. Do yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and do three. And then do one purl, the sleeve area. One, two, three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three. And we should have a total of five and knit the remaining five. Okay, so after this, this is going to be easy as can be. So the back, the wrong side, we do the purl. That's, uh, well, we do, we do the purl, but we do, yeah, we do the purl. to knit this one so purl wise just knit the wrong side as you see yeah I'm knitting with circular needle and needles and the uh, thingy this thing is touching my camera knit and then when we come to the right side we're just gonna continue doing the same as we did on the f first row of the cardigan you can make um you can make this for adults too like i started this uh finger weight yarn for myself and this yarn is like lace it's very thin and uh, I'm doing the same so I'm just gonna play around and measure myself and then continue on I'm a two I'm between 2x to 3 extra large so uh, yeah you can make it a, for adults for toddlers for babies for children any any it just work on those measurements that's how I do it and you can increase if you want it bigger increase by two stitches between I don't like like even this one is uh, I feel that the neck area is too big I don't like it that open. I like it closed and you can always open it with a button. I don't like it when it's too open on your shoulders. So I, that's why I cast on small, like small uh, stitches. Like 47 is average. Even for adults I cast on for small size. And then, uh, yeah. I'm almost at the beginning here. So I just do pro wise. Okay, I'm almost at the where that we did the buttonhole, remember? We did yarn over. Yeah, I just knit, I just do the purl wise as you work on your wrong side on the yarn over. Okay, so I am almost there. Remember we did the buttonhole here, we knit, we did two stitches. So I'm just going to knit and show you 
I usually do one, like I knit two together. So here is my buttonhole, and it can get bigger. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do the second row to create the pattern. So just one pearlwise the five stitches. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to do the knit. Knit here. Get this closer. So, just bring you the sweater. So we're creating these V's here. Okay, so we're going to do knit three, yarn over, and then we're going to start knitting in the between. Because because of the yarn over, we're increasing here. So knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, then knit one, two, three, and then again yarn over, and then knit three. This is all to it. Then we're going to do so we're at the sleeve part here. We're at the sleeve. I just realized <laughs> when I said knit three, okay, we're increasing in the middle, so that means we're going to be decreasing here. Okay, so I went back and we did the three purl stitch, I'm sorry, the five purl stitch, and remember the three knits that we did? We're going to do two instead of two, three knits. So we're increasing the five purl here to six and then we're going to be knitting two stitches yarn over knit three so this part is going to be increasing and this part is decreasing so yarn over knit two and then on the previous row we did one purl so we're going to do here's the one purl that we did on the sleeve section so what we're going to do is we're going to increase that to three so one stitch on two sides so this is the sleeve and now do two knit yarn over and then do three knits yarn over and then do two again and then we're on the back. Remember, we did seven pearls. Now we're going to do nine, increasing from each side. So just purl wise, total of nine stitches. So we're going to do two knit, yarn over, three knit, three knit, yarn over, do two. So we're done the back of the cardigan. Now we're doing the sleeve section again. Remember we did one purl in the middle. Now we're going to add two on both sides. So we're going to have three. Total of three, and then knit two, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, knit two, and then the remaining six stitches, we're just going to purl them. 
Okay, so this is the second, well, third row on the pattern that we started. Okay, I'm just going to show you so far. This is how it looks so far. This is going to be... So we're just going to do just regular knit, uh, purl stitch on the wrong side and I'll meet you when, when I come to the end and we'll continue starting the third row of the yarn over that we did. So we did a total of two rows of yarn over and we're going to do three rows and then as you can see <laughs> my uh, circular needles uh, one two three and then we're going to be finishing and then we're going to start all over again here okay so I'll meet you at the end to start the third row of the yarn over I just uh, posted a picture of my needles hanging from my lamp next to me. That's what was the sound every time I'm touching. It's uh, making that belly s bell sound. Okay, so I knitted the wrong side of the work. Now we're going to be knitting the third row of the yarn over that we're going to make to create the V, as you can see coming up slowly okay so we're going to be knitting remember we started with five and then we went up to six purl stitches now we're going to add one more so it's going to be total of seven purl stitches three four five six and then seven so there's going to be one knit stitch left and this would be the last one on the V that we're making. Yarn over, knit total of five stitches now, it's increased to five, up to five knit stitches, five, yarn over, knit one, and then now we're doing the sleeve. One, two, three, four, five purl stitches, one knit stitch, yarn over, one, two, three, four, five. forgot to yarn over didn't we yeah we did <laughs> okay so two four five yarn over knit one now we're doing the back yarn over and we're gonna be knitting all the way across well we're gonna be purl knitting so the yarn is on the front that means we're purl stitching knitting And one more. So knit one, yarn over, one, two, three, four, five, knit stitch. The yarn is on the back when we're knitting. The knit stitch, yarn over, knit one. Now we're doing the sleeve, we're done the back. See, it's becoming, isn't this nice? One, two, three, four, five, the sleeve, and now we knit one, yarn over, and we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, knit stitch, yarn over, knit one, and we're doing the front. 
it all pearl all the way to the end okay so this is good this is the last yarn over row that we have knit as you can see so we're gonna do is we're you're gonna be purling working on the wrong side what you see is what you do what you knit and uh, just give you this so we did the last yarn over so what we're going to do is we're going to start over again as we did it from here we did three knit yarn over one knit yarn over three knit so that's what we're going to do when we come back so continue knitting all the way to the the wrong side of the work and I'll meet you at the end to create the new set of V's. Today is April 22nd, 2017 <laughs> and look how it is snowing here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. if you can see the snow how it's falling yeah you can see it from here the snowed old night it's about an inch I guess well my husband shoveled it so melting as soon as it hits the ground just wanted to share this it's so funny it was so sunny like 10 degrees look how it's snowing it's really hard to see it's snowing a lot actually and it's pretty cold outside There's some snow on the fence. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and I have uh, uh, knitted the wrong side of the cardigan. Now we're going to be starting the new Vs. I had to wait, today is uh, April 30th. I had to wait a couple of days for the weather to clear because it was very gray and we had snow. So I posted the, uh, uh, the, the that I taped the, snowing it was crazy that day the weather was so great looks nice outside but inside unfortunately even the light doesn't help okay so we're back again and we're going to start the new v's here and uh, just purl wise all the way up so we're increasing our pearls because of the lace pattern that we're trying to create Okay, so we did a purl here. We're going to do another purl. And then we're going to be knitting. One, two, three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. So we create a new V here. It really depends on what yarn you're knitting with. If you're, like, this is a worsted yarn. So uh, I'm going to see, usually it's five inches from top for a baby, all the way to underarm. But I'm going to see how this is going to work because of the yarn. It is uh, pretty worsted. And we'll see how, uh, how big it's going to be. And uh, if it's very big, I can make... I can, if it's small, I can make an extra V's like this to create that lovely lace. And by yarn over, we're, we're, we're increasing. We're increasing, so one yarn over is increasing one stitch to the front, and one yarn over is increasing one stitch to the sleeve area. Just wanted to point that out. That's why we're doing the yarn over. There are several different ways to... Uh, to make a pattern so I will be making more videos and showing you to give that nice look on the on the raglan that we're, we're creating okay so we did yarn over knit one knit two knit and then we're gonna knit the knit the three 
And then, as, as you can see, we did a pearl here, so we're going to do another pearl because of yarn over, we're increasing here. So this way, we're increasing the pearl stitches on this side as well. That's how it gives that nice uh, garter stitch look on the, on the card again. Okay, so we're just going to do pearl, just regular pearl, the yarn on the front. This is how I knit. Nothing different, it's just pearl. If you, diff it if you knit it differently, you can do it your way. So here we did a pearl. So as I said, we're increasing. So we're gonna do yarn over here. So we're gonna knit three. So we're gonna pearl this one next to the pearl that we did here to increase the pearls. Or you can count. Remember we had three, five, seven. So we have nine pearl stitches up here. You can that, follow it that way as well. So we're going to have the yarn on the back and do three just regular knit stitches. And then we're going to be increasing yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and then knit three. And then we're going to do purl stitch. Just knit purl. You can count your stitches. I just follow up Oh, because I've been knitting, I'm 48, so I've been knitting 38 years, and uh, I make my own patterns. I don't write patterns. It's a little time consuming. I would rather sit and knit or make a tutorial. <laughs> okay, so I did it one, I purled one, and then what we're going to do is, purled one extra stitch here, so knit three. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, and then we're going to be purling. So there should be a total of nine purl stitches. I don't know if you can hear my heat furnace started because it is pretty cold outside it's not warm okay so we did the extra pearl here so knit three yarn over knit one yarn over one two three so continue knitting like this um this is all to it, like this is the basic method, just to knit purl, garter stitch, these are ridges, one, two, three, so we have done, I don't count the beginning, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ridges so far. So uh, what I do is I usually measure from, well, from the, from the, from down to here I measure five inches. So continue knitting. Uh, depends on, depending how big, how, who are you, you are knitting it for. Like uh, this is just for a baby. I'm going to post this on my Etsy shop or I can give it as a gift. Whoever com comes first, whoever has a baby that I know. <laughs> that who's going to be having a baby. This can be both boy and a girl. It's a nice color. Like a mustardy color. So, uh, for a baby, I would say knit about five inches. If you're knitting for a one-year-old, two-year-old, yeah, just measure the neck area and, sti and stitch. Uh, cast on as how many stitches is for the let's say one-year-old, two-year-old, and then continue knitting. You can measure one of your uh, if you have a toddler, you can measure uh, the toddler's like where the arm sleeve is, and then go down all the way knit. And this is all to it as um, I'm going to be knitting just regular knit uh, well this for the purl stitch I'm going to be knitting the wrong side but I will continue knitting about five inches uh, long and then for the on for the yarn over these V's that's how you do it like I showed at the beginning one two three and then you start another one and then one two three and then you start another one and then you increase the purl stitches here like it's very basic and I will meet you I'm going to knit about five inches and see if it's too small, depending on the yarn. 
and then I'll see how many V's I'm going to be knitting for the five inch. Yeah, but that's all to it. Like it's only you only have to knit about five inches long for a baby. If you want it for a newborn, it would be much smaller than that. But uh, five inch, I, I it's a good good. It's good to knit five inches. Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you later on. I went ahead and I have knit about five inches. So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five V's. And I made buttonholes here. I did two, four, six ridges, every six ridges. So what you can do is you just measure from here. So it is about five inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to be separating the body parts. So I have knit, so we do this at the front, I always do it at the front. So I have knitted all the way when you start the new V here. So what I'm going to do is, I found a new technique, you know, I was knitting before, three extra, four extra stitches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing this way and then turning again, so twice. So when you do this way, you don't have to knit. See, you already get a purl, like a stitch here. It's already ready to go. And then this way it won't, like the stitch won't get longer. Let's see if we can, if I can focus this better. Okay, so what I did is I hold the yarn like this and I twisted it. And I made another twist. So double twist. Two. Three. This is just to have enough room for the underarm. So four. Well, I usually do three, but I'm going to be knitting this stitch, this stitch, and the other stitch when I'm joining the body part together. So that's why I always cast on an extra stitch. Okay, so just get one of my tools here. Here's my tool that I use. I don't like uh, people, some people do uh, use a needle and then use a uh, yarn and then re have it rested on the yarn, which I don't do that. You can do that too, but I like this one. I just, it's easy for me to pick up the stitches. So, just pick up the stitches like this. All the way to the back of the body. So here, I'm going to be joining from this stitch. So continue picking up and I'll meet you at the end here. Okay, so I have put all the stitches to this uh, tool. It's going to be resting there. I did use up uh, my second ball. So this is what I have left on the second. And I do have two more, uh, 50 gram. So I'm trying to use up all the yarn that I have. This is how I control my yarn. What I can do is... So here what we're going to do is I'm just going to move this stitch here and knit these together. That is that is the reason I cast on an extra stitch so there it won't be open enough. It will close up the gap. And then I just continue on knitting. I'm just going to continue on knitting this last. Then do the purl stitch and continue doing the purl stitches all the way. And I'll meet you down here. And then we're going to be separating the sleeve again. Okay, so I am at that. Uh, I'm going to separate the sleeve section. So just before I do that, I want to show you again how to add that. This is a new technique I found out. Well, 
for knitting so many years you find every, every time you find a new technique I just want to share it with you it's so what you do is you twist it twist it and you twist it again and then you just slide it into the needle so this way when you do this way it, it feels like you have already knitted the stitch the, the other way that I pick up I have to go back and I have to knit and then slide the, the, the new stitch this is way better easy when you're separating the body section of uh, the sleeve this work to do so three and then I just go one and then I do another one just slide it to the stitch here we go we have four knitted stitches just wanted to share that with you again so I'm uh, going to be let's move this so I won't miss a st stitch lose a stitch so just slide the stitches here and then we're going to be knitting the sleeves later on well I just want to see how much I would be knitting with the one extra ball and finish this ball that I have left because I have two balls left I just want to use up all the yarn and then moving all the stitches here all the way here we go okay so we're here we're here when you well we're here at this point when you start a new V well we're not going to do that because we're done with the V's we're not increasing anymore so I'm just going to be well for here I'm going to do a knit stitch because of the pattern up to here then we're going to do the purl and then we're going to just do the garter stitch just oops this opened Oh, I also wanted to share you that I have uh, I bought these at Michael's and I used my I had a 50% off coupon I think they were like seven six ninety nine or ninety seven so fifty percent saved up half price so what I do is this cup keeps on coming out so you can put it on your needle you don't lose it's silicone so uh, you won't not silicone what you call that word it's in my head it's it's rubbery so it doesn't come out easily they have two sizes I, I picked a small size so I can use it on everything here so what I do is I just put, put this in there and I kindly gently go like this and it doesn't come out the rubber just holds it I love it I used to lose lots of uh, stitches because of that but this thing is helping me so in one container there's uh, four and then I use my pill container to secure it okay let's go back to business <laughs> let's go back to knitting okay so I'm just gonna slide this Just gonna knit that stitch together. See what I did? I twisted it and I lost one of the twists and it, the yarn got longer, so we don't want that. No, no, no. So one, two. That's the reason we're twisting it. Okay. So I'll go like this, I guess. It's, this is way better. Because when I twist it from the other side, I'm losing one of the twists. Here we go. Okay. So, oh, I did it again. No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't know what I did. The other one was pretty good. Okay, so yeah, one, two, let's do three. Yeah. And even if I lose the one twist, I'm sure that one would keep it up. Oops, where is my other needle? Here we go. You have to keep, you have to figure out that's this is what I do like I always try to find a purpose a, a new idea here we go see 
So knit these together. See, there's no gap, nothing when you knit two together. So one, two, three, and here we're going to start the purl stitch. And after this, we're just going to do purl stitches all the way to create the garter stitch. So continue knitting as long as you want. This is already done. I, uh, I usually work on the body part and then go to the sleeve, but I'm just going to see how, how my yarn is going to. And on my previous cardigan that I have, uh, I have a couple of cardigans that I showed. So what you do is you just pick up a few stitches here. I would say about, because I knit two together always, so there won't be any openings. So if you're going to be just pick up extra stitches here well there's only three stitches right so you can pick up four maybe or five not many and then continue knitting the sleeves and then uh, yeah this is all to it so you just do the uh, pearl stitch carter stitch to create this look this nice look and uh, I'll meet you when I finish knitting it, and don't forget your buttonholes. Oh, where was my buttonholes? They're here. Button, button, button. Here we go. So every six uh, ridges, I uh, put a new buttonhole. Well, this is three. Some people leave it with three buttonholes. If you want, like, I like to go all the way down. Five, six buttons that I can make. And uh, yeah. So if you want to continue making buttonholes, continue making every six ridge. And then. Uh, I'll we'll, uh, keep on knitting and I'll meet you at the end how it looks like and I'm sure it's gonna look nice so I did uh, show you the main how you increase on the V's on the Reglon area so I'll meet you at the end of the finished look before I let you go, I just wanted to show you a trick that I figured again. Another, okay. I was doing the Russian, Russian knot. I think that's what it's called. But I didn't like it after you weave in. I felt, oh, this is too much work. Because you have to weave in on, on your knitting item, right? To get rid of the, uh, the yarn that's uh, outstanding there, that's hanging out. So I figured this one, I just wanted, to, I'm always open to uh, new ideas. So uh, I finished the ball, so I knitted about, this is the back of the work. So I knitted about one, two, three, four ridges. So it does use lots of yarn. Just wanted to point that out. Okay. And I use buckets. These are yogurt buckets, buckets uh, that I put, I, well of course I sanitize it after I'm done with it. And I put my yarn in it. I like it and, I, and then if, I, if I'm not using my work in process, uh, working in process uh, projects, I just put the, the cover and it stays in my bucket. <laughs> Okay. okay, I just wanted to show you this. Okay, I've got my new ball here. And what I do is, this is how I figured it. I don't know if uh, people already know this, but I just found this out. I did a sweater, and I just hated to weave in, because I was using 10 gram of, uh, 10 gram of uh, balls of yarn. And then every time you have to weave in. So this is what you do. Well, this is a two-ply, I guess. Yeah, it's a two-ply. And then I just go in between. It can be even a one-ply. You just go in between. Just poke your needle after you thread the needle here. And then I, I try to go as long as I want. As much as I can go like this. Just go between. doesn't randomly. I just picked randomly. Nothing to it. And then what I do is I just pull this yarn, take the needle out, and what I do is 
Just pull this gently to get rid of the see? It's all gone. And then try to get this inside that yarn. Ta da! <laughs> see, doesn't this look good? <laughs> Just wanted to share it with you. So I did one here. It does get a little bit thick. But who cares, right? There's no knot that you can worry about. Because the knot always pops out, even when you try to hide it from the back. I tried to weave it, but oh, it was just driving me nuts. So I'm 48 years old, and I just figure this out by myself. <laughs> so here's one I have knitted. And uh, you can do it too. It's, it's, it's a nice method that I just figured out. Why not, eh? <laughs> okay, so continue knit. Just knit as regular. And I have to be careful because I don't want to pull it. So I hold it gently like this. And I just do the purl. Okay. Well, this I couldn't pull it. It comes out. So you can cut that if you want later on. Try to put that on the back. So one, two, total of two stitches. See, ta-da! It's inside. And this won't bother you at all. It's better than the knot. <laughs> just so I just wanted to share you that. I don't know, let's call this Frida's method. Frida's knot. <laughs> Okay, phew, that was close. I won the game of the yarn chicken. <laughs> okay, I used up all of the yarn that I had and I just have this little bit left over that could I could have knit another row here. I wish I had more yarn so I could have knit knitted these two to two inches long. I put my tag on. <laughs> I put the buttons on. And this is how you knit this gorgeous baby cardigan, baby sweater. The sleeves are a little bit wide than I par I, I uh, was uh, planning to knit. Um, what you can do is I picked up five stitches here. You don't have to pick up five stitches. Just continue knit, and I did do did some uh, decreases here, six row, six row, five row. Well, ridge. I mean ridge. By row, I mean the ridge. Six ridge, six ridge, five ridge, four ridge, and I bind it off. So uh, this is how it turned out. And here's my other one that I started at the beginning. So this has ended up uh, larger than this one. So this one was uh, nine month old. The cotton one that I dyed. The, uh, this was yarn. The yarn that I used was just regular uh, cotton yarn that you buy. You can buy it from Walmart. And I just dyed it. And it gives this nice look. So it is. This one is uh, shorter than the bottom one. But it, uh, it is cotton, it's super soft. And uh, so if the, this one is nine plus month and over, and this one I would say similar to that, but uh, more bulkier look, as you can see. Okay, so I just wanted to share this gorgeous cardigan that I have been knitting for years. And I've been seeing on our uh, knitting group that people were wondering how to knit it. It's very simple. And uh, just follow my instructions. Keep on watching. This video did take long. I think it's one of my longest uh, tutorials that I did. Almost an hour. So, uh, this is how you knit it. Knit it. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you can subscribe, share it with your family and friends. My tutorials. And keep on watching. I will be making another tutorial. 
I'll try to post them every Friday. So this one took almost three weeks for me to knit it because I did have orders between. And uh, yeah, have a great day and happy knitting.